Well, if the conference is in Colorado Springs this year, I can send someone from my team, but I ain't allowed within a thousand yards of any church or military installation. Althea! Would you step in a second? Lieutenant Governor? I really must be going. Ms. Mason, did you get those reconciliation reports I sent you? Oh, honey, I don't even know what that means. You can sit down. See, when they say manager, they really mean motivator. Mm -hmm. My job is tough love. My official title is that bitch. Oh, I think you're good at it. And you're one of my best agents. But girl, you need to find this Derek Decoupage who didn't fill out his damn census form. No disrespect, but all I've got is Derek and P.O. box. I've been looking for weeks. The only place left to look is the morgue. <laughs> Do you remember what I said to you when we first met? when you were cleaning dandruff off the audio guide headsets at that museum? You said you'd like to eat pudding off of my... After that. Uh, something about my work ethic. And the president of Paraguay? Uruguay, sweetie. The only real guay. And President Jose Mujica was as guay as they get. Imprisoned during a dictatorship, like your poor soul at that museum, only to rise to power, a champion of the people. Right, that's what you said. And there it was, your application on this desk the next day. I must say, you've had a good run. What? What are you saying? That's where the tough love comes in, honey. You don't understand the importance of the task I've given you. Oh, fine, Derek Decoupage. Do you want to go back to that museum? I would rather have my mother die and cremate her and watch every dream and chance I have at love burn in the same fire. That's my girl. I'll find him. You've got three days. Dr. Derek Decoupage. Isn't he incredible? Did he come here? Yes, yes, and he changed my life. Where can I find him? Best place on earth. 1395 58th Avenue, New York, New York. Hey, Maurice. Hey, doctor. Good to see you. Now, you know it's Friday, so I don't have much time. Let's get to it. Dear Dr. Decoupage, I recently found out my boyfriend listens to ICP for pleasure. How can I ever trust him again? Darlene. This reminds me of a story of my grandson. He became obsessed with listening to Coldplay, it was no longer manageable at Sunday school, and picked up a habit of throwing rocks at trains. In response to any authority, he would recite Chris Martin lyrics. To remedy this problem, we created the official drink of Coldplay. It was a mixture of sleeping pills and Mountain Dew Code Red. It affected his motor functions so much that he couldn't burn his mixtapes anymore. Dear Dr. Decoupage, I've been struggling to conquer a fear of walking through a stable with rows of horses on both sides. As you can imagine, this has limited me in many situations in life. Can you help me? 
love Monica. Hi, Monica. The first horse ever rode was broken, and that's what you are right now. What you need to do is saddle up, get back on your horse, and trot your way into happiness. Thank all of you for being here. Thank you for coming back again and again. And if it's your first time here, we've been doing this for a long time. So, you know, bandwagon much? Life is like a sport. It's up to you to decide if you're gonna be the catcher or the umpire. I myself am the announcer. Others might be selling candy corn or boiling hot dogs, but what is a sport without a ball? It's curling. No, no one wins there. Most people kick themselves while they're down, but I'm gonna teach you how to kick others while they're down. And those others are your fears. Once you kick them, they're not coming back up to the surface. They're drowning in the power that is you. You are the water. Be your own lifeguard. This reminds me of a little theory that one of my uh, spiritual teachers taught me. It's called the two dot and one line theory. Came to learn it underlies everything in life. I don't know if you've noticed my hair ties. There are eight of them. Eight divided by two is four. Four divided by two is two. Two dots, one line. See? It's everywhere. The stripes on your shirt. Two dots, one line. Your future. Two dots, one line. It's been proven. So you get there. One dot. You can't leave. You need a second dot. How do you get to the second dot? A line. Two dots, one line. Two dots, one line. Connection. Dr. Decoupage? Yes, you with an enlarged prostate. Where did you earn your PhD? <laughs> Sorry, what? It is Dr. Decoupage, right? You are, in fact, saying that you earned a doctoral degree at an institute of higher learning? Now what you're trying to do is put words in my mouth. What I am here to do is put words in all of your mouths. And those words are, I can and I will. Thank you, thank you. Oh. oh, hello, little lady. Oh, Dr. Decoupage. I've been struggling for so long. I've thought so many times that things will never change, but something did change just now. You are truly an inspiration. Oh, Earth not is. today.
I found him. New York City, Central Park. He's in some bushes, just over the Oak Bridge. That's my girl. Perfect. So humble. Yes, I like it. Derek Decoupage? Derek, you're not in any trouble. We just want to talk. All right. Listen, I'm really sorry to fill out my census form. When you're initiated in the MS-13, they really make you afraid of the government. There's nothing to be afraid of. I don't want to be afraid anymore. There's someone very important who wants to speak with you. You see, someone like you who really knows how to connect with the people, you're perfect for pushing a neoliberal agenda. For a leadership role. In government. Government? Like, like the zoning commission? Congress, Derek. Doctor! What? Uh, doctor. What do you say? I just, I just, I just want to help people. When I see the way you live, I'm astounded. I'm reminded of Jose Mujica, president of Uruguay. He was a man of no luxuries. He gave away all his money, he lived in a shack, he drove a beat up car. And like you, all he cared about was being the best leader he could. You give everything you have. That is highly marketable. Altruistic. You're a good man, Dr. Decoupage. Let's do some good. <laughs> 